Good morning. We are Kirk and Kim Wadsock. We thank you for joining us for morning prayer at Church of the Ascension. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. And we have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. O come, come let, let us adore, adore him. him. O come, come let, let us sing unto the Lord. Lord. Let, Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hands. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. O oh, come, let us adore him. Psalm 37. Fret not yourself because of the ungodly, Neither be envious of those who are evildoers. For they shall soon be dried up like grass. And be withered, even as the green herb. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and surely you shall be fed. Delight yourself in the Lord. And he shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way into the Lord and put your trust in him. And he shall bring it to pass. He shall make your righteousness as clear as the light. And your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not grieve yourself over the one whose way prospers, over the one who carries out evil counsels. Refrain from wrath and let go of anger. Fret not yourself, lest you be moved to do evil. For evil doers shall not be rooted out, or shall be rooted out. But those who wait patiently for the Lord, they shall inherit the land. Yet a little while, and the ungodly shall be clean gone. You shall look for their place, and they shall not be there. But the meek spirited shall possess the land. And shall be refreshed with an abundance of peace. The ungodly plot against the just and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord shall laugh at them in scorn. 
for he sees that their day is coming. The ungodly have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow. To cast down the poor and needy and to slay those who walk aright. Their short sword shall go through their own heart. And their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous has is better than great riches of the ungodly. For the arms of the ungodly shall be broken. But the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the day of the godly. And their inheritance shall endure forever. Glory, Glory be, be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Paul's epistle to St. Titus, beginning with the first chapter, the first verse. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the sake of the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth which accords with godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God, who never lies, promised before the ages began, and at the proper time manifested in his word through the preaching with which I have been entrusted by the command of God our Savior to Titus, my true child in a common faith, grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. If anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife and his children are believers and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. For an overseer as God's steward must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. For there are many who are insubordinate, empty talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision party. They must be silenced since they are upsetting whole families by teaching for shameful gain what they ought not to teach. One of the Cretans, a prophet of their own said, Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. This testimony is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith, not devoting themselves to Jewish myths and the commands of people who turn away from the truth. To the pure, all things are pure, but to the defiled and unbelieving, Nothing is pure, but both their minds and their consciences are defiled. They profess to know God, but they deny him by their works. They are detestable, disobedient, unfit for any good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Join me in saying the Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. Let your merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of your humble servants, and that we may receive what we ask. Teach us by your Holy Spirit to ask only these things that are pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the same Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Collect of the Day is for Olgar and Valdemir, the patrons of the church in Russia. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage, we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. For the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercession are acceptable through the Spirit, and who lives and reigns with you in the same Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I collect for grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor run into any danger. And that, guided by your Spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A colic for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. In the time of any common plague or sickness, O oh, Almighty God, who in your wrath sent a plague upon your own people in the wilderness for their obstinate rebellion against Moses and Aaron, and also in the time of King David sent a plague of pestilence which killed 70,000. But remembering your mercy spared the rest. Have pity upon us, miserable sinners, who now are visited with great sickness and mortality. And in the same way that you then accepted an atonement and commanded the destroying angel to cease from punishing so that it may now please you to withdraw from us this plague and grievous sickness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For the recovery of a sick person, almighty and immortal God, giver of life and health, 
we implore your mercy for your servants who are sickened by this virus, that by your blessing upon them and upon those who minister to them with your healing gifts, they may be restored to the health of body and mind according to your gracious will and may give thanks to you in your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, we invite you to offer any intercessions and thanksgivings to the Lord. Join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace, and, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us today.